Yeah, welcome back to the channel, you guys. I uh, got the Probo U19 and the Delta Force Mini Sniper, 23-inch Sniper. Uh, the Sniper, we're actually going to be running a G2 3230C pack in the keel. Okay, normally I run my batteries over on this left side of the boat. Uh, so I actually moved, I made my, my, my trays so this boat is fully adjustable. I can move my ESC here, here, or here. Okay, I got extra long tubes on the fly. Boom, I can change my weight distribution like that. All right, uh, today we're going to be running the battery in the bottom like so. Okay, usually I, I run my ESC down low. So uh, we're going to give that a shot, see how the boat acts with a low CG. Uh, with the U19 here, I actually just put a triple S 2000 KV 4074 in the boat. Uh, we're going to run that, okay? We're going to see how that does. We did that in the last video. Shop talk, shop talk. Uh, going to be running a, a 642 on the boat today. I had never run that prop on here, so I'm interested to see how it handles, okay? Uh, with this one, we're going to be running the TFL 438, okay? So stick around, stick around. Big B with Acolyte RC. get to it let's get to it all right i'm really interested to see how the boat handles with the low cg i've actually run my batteries down low in this boat before and it actually handled really good uh if i remember right i want to say my cg was too far forward i had a 4s pack in it so this 3s light pack it should uh it should do the trick it should do the trick so let's give it a shot let's give it a shot here let's see what happens uh got the gps Somewhere, somewhere. Where is it at? There it is. We'll throw the GPS in there. Yeah, I built this boat for versatility. It's very versatile. Fully tunable, fully adjustable. I had fun with this boat. This is one of my favorite build builds I've done. Uh, like I said in my previous video, as soon as Offshore Electrics gets some uh, some Delta Force holes back in stock, I want to build a build a Delta Force uh, a Delta Force Pathfinder. It's a catamaran. I think it's 28 inch catamaran. I've been looking at that boat for a while. I wish you'd get some more holes back in stock. Either our, either the the Pathfinder Delta Force or or the um, one of his vortex, the path, uh, the the Delta Force vortex. I I kind of like the little one, the little 16 inch vortex hydroplane, kind of like this guy here, but smaller. Or the 23 vortex. Uh, really interested in that 23. To be honest with you, the 16 would be fun, but it would be a tough build. Tough build so small for my big gorilla fingers but uh really i can't wait for him to get some more delta force hauls back in i hope uh steve i hope you i hope you're listening <laughs> all right so let's give it a shot let's give it a shot i didn't bring my fishing pole hopefully we won't need it Oh, nice. You can tell the difference. Big difference with that low CG. All right. 3S, 3200, 30C. Let's see what she does in a straightaway here. That was full trigger. A little squirrely there. I need to pick this turn fin up because she's dragging. That one's dragging. All right, let's give that a shot. Oh, yeah. I had it set up for that uh, 42 millimeter chopper prop. Oh, that's much better. Yeah. I had it set up for that 42 millimeter chopper prop. From prop to prop, you have to change your, your trim tabs, you know, to get the most out of it. Yeah. All right. A little bit too far forward. Hmm. 
amazing what a little a little half a turn will do to a boat it's amazing Only day I could get out here and run the boat. <laughs> yeah, man. One more pass here. Oh. So before, with my battery over to the left, it would have flipped over just now. So that lower CG keeps her planted. All right, that's the battery. Check the temp here. 85 on the motor, 86. Fly color, 115. Ooh, that's the highest temp I've had on this fly color. Oh shit, that's the highest temperature I ever had. 45 on the speed. Alright. Uh, damn, that's hot. That's the hottest I've had it. Normally that thing's like freaking under 100 degrees. <laughs> I wonder if I have something clogged up or here. All right, so 45 on the little little sniper here. That's not bad. No water in the boat. Nice and dry. <laughs> I just brought one battery for that guy right there. Um, I brought two packs for this, two sets of packs for this guy here. So let's uh, let's give this guy here a shot. I'm running a small prop on it with this new motor. Don't ask me why, but I am. Cord. Yep, that's the 4074 2000 kV triple S motor. It looks good in the boat too, man. I had that motor in my had that motor in my um, Sonic Wake V1. It was, it's uh, out of commission right now until I get another hull. But um, for the time being, we're going to run it in this boat, okay? Uh, that, you know, I like to change motors out in my boats, interchange motors. If I can, if I can, you know. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, okay. Golly, boy. Boy, she took off like an airplane, son. All right, so I got a small prop on. I need to check my coolant here. Okay. So I was checking my coolant. All right, this is a small prop. You see that small prop I got on there? I was just uh, making sure that my, my blast pickup was catching the blast from the propeller. You know what I mean? Since I have a smaller prop on smaller diameter um, but it looks good it looks good it looks good it's cool god son I, hey that's a pretty decent little prop for this boat that's 642 shit okay okay might have to mess around with with stinger positions and i might need to move my 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 mad lizard mad turn fin kind of do some adjustments on that it's like my fourth run with it Let's see what we got here. Okay, see her wanting to come up like that? See her wanting to pick up? Okay, okay. Might have a flip. Oh, wanting to pick up. That little propeller's got, it looks like it's got a little bit of bow lift. Really? I really? I really need to go down with my strut a little bit, but I'm not messing with that right now. 
I got my batteries all the way up and it's wanting to pick up. So let's go, uh, let's go into the wind, or with the wind, I should say. Oh, it flipped. All right, so I, I just got the boat out, 53 with the little prop. Gonna give it another shot here. I actually lost one of my fins. Came off the tape. You, oh, both of them did. You would think these things would be, uh, have some flotation in them. That kind of sucks. I was over there looking for it, and uh, they don't have no flotation in them. Damn, I wish I'd have known that. I would have filled it with foam. Oh, the next set I get, we're going to fill it with foam. But that happens. That happens. You flip the boat, it's going to happen. That's why they make them so they break off. That looks terrible. If I had to recommend something for you guys, I would recommend taking your, your fins off, fill it with foam, and put them back on. Okay? I wish I would have known that. Uh... So I'm going to run it without the fins, which that's fine with me. Um, this is the first time I've ever run a different prop on this boat. So um, it actually worked pretty good. Got a little bit of bow with. Oh. I'm going to do some ovals that new mad turn fin <laughs> this thing's boss with that fin on it man thing rips with that damn mad turn fin i kind of like it without the fins on the back kind of looks cool man nice she freaking ripped He freaking rips with that damn turn fin. Freaking screamer, son. Yeah, I get so tickled when I get out here running my boats, y'all. I apologize if I freaking, you know, kind of, I'm, I'm like repetitive with my freaking full trigger, full trigger type shit. You know, I get so tickled to death out here running my boats, man. It's such a fun hobby, man. You ain't gotta, you know, you ain't gotta worry about them breaking like you did a damn truck or something. She gets it, y'all. That new motor's the bomb, son. We're gonna check temps after this. Uh, when I flipped it, I couldn't really check temps. It had to sit there for a while. Jesus Christ, where the hell did that duck come from? Where the hell? Are you gonna get your head ripped off, boy. crazy duck yeah that prop's got some bow lift that actually performs pretty good on here man yeah nice coming in hot coming in hot <laughs> oh 50 knots and no smoke baby <laughs> all right so let's check the temps that was a pretty good little run and uh we'll um we'll throw the 100 c's in the 100 c's i've got some uh some cheap some cheap single 6s packs coming 7100 c two packs uh for the channel i've also got a uh a Swordfish X200 coming for my Delta Force 35. That should be a freaking screamer. All right, setting that boat up for speed runs. That's something I've been wanting to do for a while is uh, put that damn Swordfish on there, man. I'm finally able to do it. 100 on the motor. Oh, wow, that's freaking awesome. 101. Speed control, 96. 126. 116. Damn, that's a good, that might be a good choice, man. Go ahead and get these bad boys out. Let's put the 100 C's in and give it a rip. Yeah, I like this motor jacket better than the stock one. You got more room to get into your batteries without those 
cooling lines coming out the side of the damn can. I might I might solder that 3650 back up and uh, and put the 3650 in my Blackjack 24 for a while. That six pole. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, one of my subscribers, I can't remember your name. Sorry, buddy. He'll know who I'm talking about anyway. He just put a 3656 pole in his Blackjack 24. <laughs> and he said it was a freaking screamer, son. That's the perfect motor for that boat, really. It's compact. It's a low KV compared to what I like to run on my Blackjack. But that ought to be a good motor for the Blackjack 24. We might try it out. I'm, I'm putting a stock esc back i meant the stock motor back in my blackjack 24 i love that little boat man it's so fun to tune and mess with yeah i'm gonna put that stock motor back in there running on a 90 amp esc on 4s that should be fun see what happens i'm gonna throw six eight s on it too <laughs> blow it up <laughs> all right let me quit jacking my jaws y'all want to see this boat run y'all don't want to hear me jack my dolls telling you y'all i get so damn excited when i run my boats man i, I can't help it y'all i apologize man i apologize i know i freaking run my damn mouth out here at the pond but uh man i get so damn excited when these boats hit the freaking water man i swear i do yeah i would definitely fill those fins up with a foam man i wish i'd known they were hollow like that i thought they had flotation in them i was over there looking for it you know floating but it's nowhere to be seen All right, let's get it, let's get it. 100C, 100C. Golly, boy. That thing's blister fast with that damn mad lizard turn fin. I can't get over that shit. Y'all want to see me run this boat? Here I am. I'm running it. Not checking temps every now, every now and then. See, I feel comfortable with this boat now. I know where it's at. I know what I got. I know what's in it. You know what I'm saying? Especially with that little prop. Yeah, I feel comfortable. Full trigger. <laughs> feel comfortable with it, man. When I first get a boat, you guys notice I check my temps a lot. After a build, after I build a boat, you know, or I'm ready to run, I check my temperatures all the time. Once I feel comfortable, once I get to know the boat, you know, I kind of slack off on it. Unless I'm changing props or something. Or doing a trim tab adjustments or something like that she started floating she started walking on me dancing into the wind there got a little breeze into the breeze now that that 4074 is getting it y'all i like that motor in the boat you can tell it's got more more throttle response okay it's got more th like throttle response it's got uh more responses with the trigger see there i go repeat myself again sometimes i can't find the words when i'm out here running my boats like this i'm, I'm watching the boat and i can't find the words and i'll sit there and repeat my damn self <laughs> Full trigger in a turn. Full trigger. Full trigger. <laughs> Oy, oh. Thank God I had that damn curved turn fin. I would have I would have ran all in the blank bank right there. Oh, submarine. How you doing? Oh. Oh. Yeah, man. This is a fun boat, you guys. I, I would definitely think about getting this bad boy. Yeah, man, put a 150 in it and like a two, uh, 1600 to a 2000 kV motor, you got something, boy. Woo! 
<laughs> She's dancing, son. Get it, boo. Get it, boo. All right, that's a battery. Either a battery or heat. Let's check it out. Let's see what the temp is. I bet it, that's a 100C battery. I bet I just burnt my shit up. <laughs> oh, I'm sitting here talking about I get. I feel comfortable with this boat now. And then it's like a poof of smoke coming out of it, huh? <laughs> that's the way it goes. I feel comfortable with the boat. I don't have to check my temps no more. Oh, yeah, Big B, yeah. Just had a power cut. So it's either temp or low voltage so let's find out i don't see no smoke that's a good thing that's a good thing boys 50 knots and no smoke so 52 doing laps 52 mile an hour doing laps come on all right let's check her out here boys huh <laughs> 134 125 141 i swear i've noticed i've noticed with several of my boats okay that the 100 c 100 c high discharge batteries have tend to have a lower temp on the esc and motor but i've noticed that i've noticed that y'all y'all ha, have y'all noticed that with your boats a higher c rated battery you have cool tend to have cooler temperatures you know um same mah higher c rated so uh, y'all comment, let me know what you think, if you, what your experiences are with higher C-rated batteries opposed to a lower C-rated battery. All right. Um, yeah, that freaking 4074, boy, that thing was getting off, son. It was getting off. Man, I need to get him a freaking napkin. <laughs> and my little freaking Delta Force, I hadn't ran, I hadn't been running it a lot, but I kind of like it with the battery down low. Um, I, I remember why I didn't run the boat with the battery down low because my CG's a little bit forward in the boat. Wanted it to ride on its keel right here and kind of veer uh, with steering. When I run it on the side right here, kind of I could push it back farther and uh, it actually offsets some of the torque roll. But hey, it's uh, that's the hobby, that's the hobby. Switching stuff around, putting different motors in your boats, tinkering and testing freaking, you know, your boats. Um, that's what I love about it, that's why I love RC. I love to promote the hobby for one. I love it, man. I love promoting the RC boat hobby. Uh, like I said in my previous video, uh, I don't think it's. I think it's underrated, man. I, I really do. I really do. And uh, and, and and I really, I really like to see. You know, there's new channels here lately. I have new boat channels, and and I really enjoy seeing new channels, man. Tinker testing two channels, not just going out there running your boat. That's freaking awesome. Upgrade channels and stuff. So y'all keep it up, boys. Keep it up. Keep it up. I like to see it. Keep keep the videos coming, you guys. Uh, Big B here with Ironclad RC. All right. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Huh? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good, good.